throw this piece of scrap aluminum in the lathe and I'm using a live center on the end that's closest to the camera just to help uh, when, I, when I lock it down the jaws to keep it nice and straight. Now I'm just going to come in and turn this face. It had a point on it, I'm not sure why, but we'll get rid of that and then make a really nice flat surface. And this will be the surface that's going to slide on the granite surface plate. And we'll turn the outside diameter down a little bit just to make it look better. Pick a size that looks like it'll be decent and we'll part it off. And when I parted it off, it left a little nub in there. It broke before I got all the way through with my cut, so I'll just take a file, knock that down, and then we'll go over it with some sandpaper. And again, this doesn't have to be really, really great, because uh, this isn't the side that's going to be uh, sliding on the surface plate itself. And we'll knock off the burrs, get it cleaned up so that those burrs don't throw us off when we're clamping in the millage. And then I just stacked up a couple of pieces of uh, metal bar there. I used a protractor to figure out roughly what angle I'd like the scribe to be going through that block of aluminum at. And I came up with 15 degrees. Seems suitable. So, how are you guys liking this tribal music? I don't know, I was looking for some music in the background and I, I heard this and I thought, ah, it kind of sounds okay, I guess. And then I counterboard that surface there before, just so it was a nice flat surface when we uh, go to use our center drill, and then drill through it all the way. This is a size P drill bit. And making sure too that the drill bit had clearance underneath the stock and that was, wasn't going to run into my vise. And then I use my center finder here just to roughly mark out that straight line on the top. And I'm just going to use that for reference when I clamp that into the milling machine. And again, machine a nice flat surface, hit it with the center drill, and then this is the uh, tap drill size, which is a... I forget what size it was. Anyways, uh, the little screw that I found was a number six, sorry, a six millimeter by one was the thread. So this is the uh, tap drill size for that. And then we'll tap it out. Fingers. with some compressed air, obviously being careful for chips. And then there was that little uh, screw that I had in my random fasteners bin. I think that came off a, a shield for the grinder that I used for my sharpening system. And I wanted that screw at an angle there just so that it came down and clamped at 90 degrees to the scribe. And that way it would hold it flat against that, the hole that we bored through there. This works really, really slick for marking out those uh, your edge lines for when you're grinding. I've been using drill bits until now, and it's really nice to actually have this. Something I've been meaning to make for a long time, and I just figured it was time to get it done. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Cheers.